hey guys uh, today we are gonna see how to easily color code your land users and maybe work with the legend and actually work with transparencies and uh, uh, how to work on some queries and maybe actually uh, do some calculations like uh, calculate acreage and stuff like that okay uh, I added city roads floods uh, parcels uh, from my GIS database the, from the city and from the blackboard uh, and f right now I'm gonna turn off the floods and I'm gonna work on the land uses one of the things uh, to remember is uh, these land use colors are pretty standard so what I'm gonna do is go to my tools and go to styles and go to my style manager and make sure I have my civic style selected you can find the civic style if you don't have civic style you'll find it in civic when you actually click on styles and click on civic you can actually expand it and you can see in the colors that you have all the colors that you would ever need like residential single family multi-family uh, you know commercial different categories of commercial plan development you know all the signs that are actually standardized for you know planners um, so let's use these colors okay I'm gonna close this one go to properties and go, go into categories and go to uh, where is land use I'm gonna select land use and add all values and for the commercial I'm gonna use I'm gonna use um, the commercial commercial okay and for commercial facilities I'm gonna use a different version of the same color which is uh, uh, general commercial probably um, and uh, and the same with all the colors okay so after I use all my colors that are there in the civic style uh, you know I come, came up with this uh, classification and color code which I'm pretty happy with and I'm gonna overlay the flood zones on top of the land use so what I'm gonna do is go to the properties and make and make sure you have the non flood land removed and make sure the reservoir is actually the reservoir uh, you know the reservoir and lake is actually the lake and floodplain is 100 year floodplain okay I select all those and click OK now I can clearly see what is a floodplain and what is not at the same time I'm able to see all my land uses and uh, this makes a pretty decent map I would say and just uh, if at all if you decide to go another route or if you want to show something on top of it or if you want to add some kind of transparencies let's say if you uh, want to show uh, you know uh, some layer on top which or add a transparency I'm gonna go to the properties go to the display tab and set my transparencies here to maybe 25% or something like that so now you know you're actually working with how bright or how transparent the layers have to be uh, but in this case I'm just showing you where the tool is instead of you know uh, showing it an example uh, I can't think of any example right now but this is how we actually work with transparencies and draw, you know and color codes and let me show you how to work with legends okay uh, I have my map set up and I'm gonna insert my north arrow as usual I'm gonna use my favorite north arrow uh, adjust the size so that it's not too big and uh, insert a le you know like a scale bar why not right uh, use the scale bar and uh, the same problem that we have with our maps is uh, this is not actually set 
in the quad uh, this doesn't have map units so i'm gonna go to the general and say set this to inches and set this to inch click on ok and now when i actually go to the properties of this one and adjust the region width and the miles set my map units to miles uh, the scale bar units and set it to maybe two miles and click on apply uh, a little too small probably maybe just go with four miles and reduce this to two and this to one actually this to one this to two and maybe just make this 10 miles that's pretty decent i think and can i just the size on this thing the font should be no more than six or maybe seven at the most and then bring my not that on top align it perfectly and insert the legend now the legend part is pretty crucial so i'm gonna make sure i got my i don't want my city roads to be in the legend and create a default legend i'm gonna show you how to edit that move it to the side so that you can see it clearly and go to the properties of this one and say for the floods um, actually first things first uh, the style I'm gonna adjust the style of this one uh, make it calibre maybe and go to properties go to the frame add a border and add a background Y and set an offset of three points on all sides and uh, go to properties select the color as very light gray so that it's not too obvious and uh, reduce the size to I would say 9 okay and add a second margin inside your map so that you can align your legend there and make sure uh, you have zoomed in about right and uh, yeah and make sure everything is labeled correctly flood zones and uh, delete the heading inside and this should be land uses and i'm gonna delete the subheading here so when you do that this looks a lot more uh, it's proper I would say and maybe we can go with a different style if you want actually uh, about the styles select the flood zones and we are gonna take a look at the flood zone styles right now uh, or the legend style for flood zones layer there are a couple of styles you can use as you can see the preview here and also this is one I created for myself but there is uh, And also you can go to land users go to style and select the land users yes. and you can actually place them in the same column by clicking you know uh, uh, place it in the next column so that they line up properly and maybe I will take out the legend thing so that everybody knows that's a legend we don't have to label it and I think that looks a lot a lot better than what we had before and uh, yeah if you want to play with this thing guys uh, just go to maybe land users go to style maybe go to properties of the style and override the default patch of the area sort of thing if you want to change the shape uh, maybe organize it you know let's see how that looks you see how that changed you know the, the simple things that make uh, you know your ma uh, legend looks a lot more efficient and I'm going to flood zone styles and go to uh, properties and override default patch with uh, water because this is a water body okay and I'm going to say okay and okay and okay now you see this legend looks a lot more finished it's clean it's uh, telling 
the story we want to tell to the user so this is what i would do and it has a nice uh, north arrow in the scale bar and you just need to add your write up like title and other things and pretty much you're done okay hope this helps thanks